My name is Ning Wang. My from China. My name is Rolandas. I'm from Lithuania. My name is Maria from Portugal. These are the new faces of Britain, and here in Peterborough, they're going to class to learn the language of their adopted country. Do you think it is right that people who come to Britain should learn English? Yes, this is 100 percent, because he come England, he should be speaking English. To improve my uh, language, to help me to uh, rebuild myself again and make friendship with uh, other people, I mean, with English people, with uh, people who are surrounding me. People who live here, who live here for eight, ten years, say, and they they can't speak in English. You know people like that? Yeah, yeah, I know, and many of them works in my in my work. Yeah, so. And what do you think of that? Uh, I don't understand. I don't know how how do they live. This centre is funded by the taxpayer through a local college. Rolling out some compulsory scheme would mean one thing for sure. Definitely we need funding in place. They have to bring funds in to be able to facilitate the service. If they want to continue this, if they want to make it compulsory, then funding is the foundation of this. Most people we spoke to in Peterborough thought some compulsory scheme was overdue in a town which has seen its population change hugely in the last decade. I work, yeah, and I'm the only English person that works in that warehouse. Uh -huh. And how do you find that? It's hard, but I can't chat to no one. Yeah. They, they, they speak to me like I'm a second class citizen. Because the other question is, who would pay for it all, I suppose? Usual story, isn't it? Taxpayer will do in the end, won't they, as we always do. The government has not said it will take up this proposal, but as we leave the EU, immigration and how to manage it are well and truly on the map. Andy Bell, 5 News, Peterborough.